Okay, let's have a look here now. Um, I think yesterday I actually skipped 39. I think I accidentally went 3841. So what I'll do is I'll just pick it up from 39 and then continue on down, but uh, skip over uh, 41. So we're still looking for eight digits. So yeah, we'll take it from 39 now. I'll need to open up my um, calculus spreadsheet. Okay. So just take a moment. Let me pause this. Okay. Let's have a look now. Um, so it's 1 minus 2x is the function. Okay. It's uh, actually been kind of an easy one. 1 minus 2 times x. Okay. Change the points, of course. Um, 0 0.9, 0 0.99, 0 0.999, 0 0.9999, 0 0.1, 1.01, 1.001, 1.000, 1. 1. Okay, so it looks like it should be minus 1. So minus one then and uh, uh, that would be the answer i'm sure at the back for 39 yep it is uh, let's just make sure we have the digits correct as well didn't i say eight digits so um technically i would need yeah seven seven decimal places it's not showing all the zeros is the only thing um you'd have to copy the zeros down okay um next now where am i now so that's 39 so now 40 5 over 1 minus e power of 1 over x okay 5 over 1 minus e 1 over x. Oh dear. I must have typed in something wrong here. Let's try again. 5 over 1 minus exponential 1 over And then the uh, value is a little bit different here. Minus 0 0.1, minus 0 0.01, minus 0 0.001, minus 0 0.0002, minus 0 0.001, minus 0 0.001, minus 0 0.001. 0.0001. Mm. That's kind of funny. Um, that's that's weird. Um, I I I'm confused. Um, why is it having so much trouble? here so when x tends to zero oh yeah okay so as it tends to zero from the left this would be a negative power so this ends up being five so that explains that but when it tends to zero from the right this ends up becoming positive in power and diverges to infinity. Uh, divergent, I should say. Um, so it, it should be moving towards zero. 
but Excel's having a little bit of trouble here. So the limit on this side is five and Excel has trouble processing the scale of the number due to the, the large exponential value, but it's moving towards zero. So it'll be five and zero. Therefore, no limit this time. Uh, maybe I should put the question number at the top here. So this is question 40. So no limit here. Okay. 41 I've done already. So let's have a look at 42. So, oh, uh, the digits are a bit messed up. Okay, anyways, let's go on to 42. Cos. Cos this over this. And then we're moving towards, oh, just the uh, positives this time. Only one, one, okay. Zero, um, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001, 0 0.0001, 0 0.0001. Um, yeah, that's diverging to, to go to infinity. Okay. Um, 43 on the top is 1 minus 2 over x and then on the bottom is x squared minus 4 And the values are 1 1.9, 1.99, 1.9999, 1.9999, 2.1, 2.01, 2.001, 2.001, 2.001. Looks like it's heading to 1 over 8, doesn't it? Limit of one over eight. That's what it looks like we're we're getting here for forty three. Um, let, let's have a quick check of forty three. Uh, yeah, one over eight. Okay, and um, where are we now? In the following exercise, set up a table of values and round to eight significant digits. Oh, and the previous exercise said eight digits. So eight significant digits means I wouldn't count the zero at the front, I guess. Um, so. Okay, let's see. Pi over theta. Minus 0 0.1, minus 0 0.01, minus 0 0.001, minus 0 0.0001. Zero 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 oh. That very quickly disappeared, didn't it? bit too quick. Oh, hang on. Yeah, yeah. So this failed. Um, it failed. So In question 44, this method fails.
because the limit as theta goes to zero of sine pi over theta is not the same thing as the limit as um, n goes to infinity, where n is a natural number of sine pi 10 over n because because these are all like um like that's 10 10 over 1 well no sorry that that's um i have that upside down don't i uh, Ten power minus n so that is 10 power minus one oh and the ones on the left is the minus and plus so i'll just say it doesn't matter uh it's not the same thing if we just focus on the, the minus one first, uh, what will happen is this will be like the limit of sine of some multiple, like if you're dividing by 0 0.1, that's like multiplying by 10. So this is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of sine of minus 10 power n pi which is always zero because it's a whole multiple of pi so this method fails um i i think this has no limit it has no limit okay that's 44 and then um, 45, that's an interesting one. Okay, let's have a look at 45 then. 1 over x cos pi over x. Okay, so I just need to change that to a cos. And then it's 1 over x. Oop. yeah um and we're just okay well at this time we're just looking at the, the positive ones so we can forget about those so just focusing on these right now um heading towards infinity so limit of infinity um, I don't think there's any issue like last time because what's going to be the, the dominating term here is the 1 over alpha as alpha goes to 0. So I'm pretty sure this would be infinity. Let's have a look. Mm, infinity. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's this actual DNA? Divergent, divergent. Yeah, well, without the plus, without the plus, it's undefined. It's divergent to infinity. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Um, that is. I think that's that's enough for today. Um, I'll have to mark this exercise as being from 39 onwards but i skipped 41 because i accidentally did it in the the last video so we'll just mark this video as 39 to 45 okay thanks for watching any problems let me know in the comments and i'll see you next time